Yep, sorry. Started the video a second too late. I... Oh, I didn't do the fucking... ...syncing of the audio at the beginning before I hit... Damn it! Okay. We gotta pause the game and... ...like, uh... ...do that real quick. I have to turn the music back off anyways. I didn't have a chance to do that yet. So I might have to mute a few seconds of this video if it's already starting up playing something. Let's see here. I'm gonna be quick. Oh, good. Okay, nothing happened. It sounded like it might just uh, be playing uh, racing music. Instead of third-party stuff. Okay, real quick. Up, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. Good enough. I kind of explained what I was doing there in the first episode. I'm not gonna do it again. Uh, God damn. Oh, his sharp turns. I hate him. Oh, I missed a shortcut again. How am I supposed to catch up to anyone like this? I wasn't paying attention. Where am I? Somewhere in the... What, what, it's around some city. I already forgot, damn it. Yes, alright. And... Damn it. Yeah, see. That's what I'm talking about. The game does that. <clears throat> Which... I guess it's nice. It saves you from having to physically turn around yourself and... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, god. That was fucking brilliant. I got... Put my, I didn't T-bone somebody. I put myself in a position to be T-boned. Damn it. Alright. Ugh. I wonder how expensive this car is. I think I pretty much just stole it off of a lot, so... Jack's already in enough trouble with the law, and he probably doesn't care in some sense. Uh, oh, come on! I barely went out of there! Okay, well... Oh, eh, well, okay, thank you for, uh... Uh, letting me go through that truck at first. I don't know why you put it there in the first place, but... At least my collision detection is disabled. What you call that, uh... Temporary amount of invincibility. 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 Whatever. Yep, uh, uh, alright, alright. Uh, let's see, two and a half miles to go. Two more people to pass. And they're right in front of me, good. Oh, nice, the Corvette. That was one of, one of my favorite cars and need for speed high stakes to drive around. And I didn't know the McLaren F1 had like a top speed of 240-ish miles an hour until Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010. Because it was featured as a car in Need for Speed High Stakes, but there was no other car that could uh, compete with it at the time, or in the game at all, really. So, like... Uh, they just limited it to 200 miles an hour, and I just thought, yeah, it's a top speed any car can go, including the McLaren F1, but no, that's not true, apparently. It really is a top speed of 240. Uh, I mean, yeah, I get it, they had to limit it like that to make uh, some Mercedes racing car competitive with it, but uh, I think they technically made the top speed of that Mercedes car slightly faster than, than the McLaren F1, and they gave the McLaren F1 slightly better acceleration, now that I think about it, which is weird. <coughs> I mean, whatever, I don't care, I'm not, I don't have any kind of loyalty to any kind of car brand or manufacturer. Well, I'm kind of excited to see what Tesla will be doing with their electric cars being concerned about global warming and all that. Although if I charged one up here in West Virginia, it'd be the electricity would come from a coal plant anyway, so 
I don't know if that's dirtier or cleaner than just burning gasoline directly. It might be cleaner, technically, just because economies of scale. Ah, uh, damn it, I forgot to, uh... Eh, uh, pause. Okay, what? I, I thought I'd turn this off. Yeah, I did turn it off. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay, it's off, right? What the fuck? Do I have to mute this part of the level? Okay, no, that was just for the beginning cutscene, I guess. I'm gonna mute that part of the video anyways, though, sorry. What was I saying? Yeah, I was straying into political stuff. Oh, well, I mean... It's not a political issue, it's a politicized issue. But... Uh, technically, I make a distinction there. I mean, because it's really just a science issue, fundamentally. But uh, and I don't, I'm not opposed to things being politicized if things need to be addressed by society's governments. But it's like, well, anyways, I, I know people in the comments will disagree with me. I'm not looking to use the video to preach or anything, I, I just, I'm interested in what, I, I kind of follow what Tesla's doing, is, is all, and that's related to this, because, you know, cars, right? <laughs> just, just, just runs right into the back of one. Uh, of course, I just fucking do the same goddamn thing, and I wasn't even, I didn't even run into that truck to try and be funny, to like after I laughed at the other guy, that was literally a mistake. Yeah, all I'm doing is like passing three people, it's one of those battle things, I'm not having trouble for some reason. And I'm out of the mountains too, so this should be easier, right? There are longer stretches of road to reach higher speeds and... I shouldn't be having trouble. Uh... Yes! Oh, damn. Alright, cool. Alright. It's one down, two to go. Some stormy clouds up ahead. I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna be racing through a storm this time around, but I think at some point I will be. And I assume it'll be in the near future. I'm essentially gonna be, if I'm not already there, passing through what we call Tornado Alley in the United States. Which is just a, uh, I don't know, if you're living elsewhere in the world, that's like a part, that's like the middle southern-ish portion of, uh, the fuck? Portion of the United States where tornadoes are most common. I was worried for a second I was uh, running out of bounds of the uh, game, because that wasn't marked as a shortcut, but no, it's, uh, it's there. Okay, watch. Rubber banding AI. See how much, see how fast I'm approaching even though I'm not going to catch up to this guy? Like, if I'd had another second or two, I would have uh, gotten there, but, um, yeah, that's rubber banding AI. They, uh, people ahead of you will slow down to, uh, make you more, fuck, competitive, and, uh, if people are behind you, they'll speed up unnaturally and artificially to make themselves more competitive and just make the whole race as a whole more competitive. At least it seems to be that way. I don't, I don't know for sure if, um, rubber banding AI is used in Need for Speed the Run. I just suspect that it is. I haven't done that kind of research let yet. Probably not gonna bother at this point. I'm, I'm gonna try not to, like, insert 
quote-unquote scripted things as addendums at the end of these episodes. I don't know. But... And I said earlier it takes like two or three hours to get through this game. So in between stages five and six, I, uh, I looked at what I recorded so far. It was exactly two hours so far. Now some of that's going to be cut out, cause, uh, especially from the first episode, because I, I messed some stuff up. But, uh, I don't know, maybe it'll be closer to three and a half hours when I'm finished with it. At least I'm past the halfway point. And we get, when we get to Chicago, though, that's going to be wild. If you haven't seen how this plays out yet. This one's dangerous, Jack. Stay alert. What's dangerous about it? If you're going to... What, what... Is that useful to tell me it's dangerous if you're not going to tell me what the danger is? Like, the last stage, there was danger, but you told me what it was. It was icy roads. You also mentioned, uh... Okay, I see lightning, so it's... Okay, it's a thunderstorm. Maybe she didn't say anything because it was supposed to be obvious. I don't know, but, like... Just in general, if you're gonna say... But if that's... If it's obvious that it's lightning and it's obvious that it's dangerous, then... You wouldn't and you don't want to say something obvious, you wouldn't say it's going to be dangerous in the first place, yet you might as well just tell me, yeah, you'll see lightning up ahead, be alert, sort of thing. Like, I don't mind if you state the obvious in some ways, just... I don't know. Really struggling to think of shit to say sometimes. Yeah, I tried to ram him into that oncoming car, didn't work. Let's see, three more people I gotta catch up to. Uh, uh, crap. Alright. Let's see, two of them pretty close to each other. I can probably pass them in one go. Uh, yeah, kinda. Oh damn, don't knock me off. Ooh, wow, cool. Alright, I lost a position, but that's couple positions, but we got two and a half miles, didn't use a reset, so that doesn't upset me, really. Okay, just one more, nearly there. God damn it, come on. Alright, two miles to go. I see a shortcut coming up. I think I'll take it. Yeah, this looks like it was a good choice for a shortcut. Really good. I mean, I, wow, I saved a lot of uh, time. So I'd... God damn it. That, that crash... I'm not going the fucking wrong way, you stupid game. That crash probably just cost me all the time I saved from taking the damn shortcut. Jeez. This road is a bit muddy and slippery, therefore... Okay, well, finish line is there. I'm way ahead of everyone, so it, nothing to worry about. <sighs> Alright. Um, 18 more positions. So I'm going to be pretty close. There have been some races where you have to pass 10 whole people. Come on, I don't care. Let's... Let's go. Come on, I don't... Like, what does that do for me? Okay, I guess it unlocks a car, but... I'm using a different car right now. You know? And other cars are going to be available for me to steal off of some parking lot later on anyways. It, whatever car I just unlocked, I, I don't think is going to be among those options as, like, a bonus. Oh, great. One of these again. And that animation with the, uh... Those time codes flashing around, making noises, it's like... The kind of thing that vaguely remain, reminds me of some... Uh... I don't know, Clock Stoppers movie shit. Which... I haven't watched that in a while. I don't know if I particularly want to, again, I, I don't think it's that outstanding of a movie, but it's nostalgic nonetheless. 
just like Need for Speed High Stakes. And uh, maybe Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2010 at this point. I mean, I've had it for like seven years. But nostalgia seems to have a stronger impact if there's a longer period of time in between the last time you played it and the time you're finally returning to it. Which, may, I don't know, so... I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. I hate these, uh... I wonder if I'm going backwards through a uh, thing I've already been through already early on. Yes, come on. Damn it! Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, well, at least I made it to the checkpoint, so, uh... Don't really have to go over any part of this level I'd already driven through. Nice. That was a close call. It's so cool when... Shit. Uh, damn it. Uh, you can, like, get two near misses going... Passing... An oncoming and a not oncoming car at the same time as they're passing each other through a secondary road. Like that's just that's really satisfying when you can pull that off. Like here. Damn it! Fuck. So much for that, but uh again, at least it happened right after the checkpoint, so I'm not uh going over uh or similar. Damn it. Oh, did I seriously? I made the same mistake again at the exact same spot. Alright, I'm not going to try that again. And it was a little further away from the checkpoint than I remember, but it's still not a big deal. Just going to pass to the right this time. What happened? Oh, did you see that? There was like a car bouncing in the parking lot. Like, over-exaggerated hydraulic suspension shock things, whatever the fuck those are, that you see in music videos, like, or Pimp My Ride would give you. That was a cool TV show back in the day. I didn't watch it all that much, just like if I'm channel surfing and I'm bored with Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon and maybe Disney Channel occasionally if I felt like it. I might watch that as a kid or a teenager. I might appreciate it more now, just from considering it's not like I'm just only shallowy, shallowly. Uh, well, it's not shallow to appreciate the visual parts of uh, the uh, upgrades that they make to people's cars, but I, I think I would enjoy it more, is what I'm saying. Like, just whatever engineering they put into it. I don't know much about cars in general or the engineering that goes into them, but. Sometimes I find videos on YouTube fascinating that compare, say, electric cars with cars that use an internal combustion engine, for instance. Yeah, here's another guy who I don't really care about, but you spent 250000 in the hopes of... I mean, you're pretty well set. For a few years, anyways, even if you don't have a job, maybe lifestyle inflation can bite you, though. But well, that's you could say that for any racer, Sam. Well, that's quite the lightning flash. Probably seems brighter than it is because I'm I don't have my bedroom light on while I'm playing this. It, it just at least there's some a little bit of sunlight coming in through curtains, but. They're the kind of curtains with, like, a black thing to block out most light, because I don't like the street light bleeding through the curtains at night. I prefer my room as dark as possible. Yeah, they did a good job on the lightning flashes, for sure. I mean, that that's, that's fucking bright. To me, anyways. Okay. Yeah, I recall this guy actually being a challenging rival to have to deal with. Which is fine, but just something to be aware of if you ever want to play this game yourself. Oh, wow. 
Damn it! Oh god, no. Okay. Oh wow. Thank god I, I made it back. I'm a little surprised the game didn't reset me actually. Oh ho! Shit! <laughs> Fuck! Damn it. Hate it. I, I laugh at them and then I fuck up myself. Okay, at least he's at least the game's starting me ahead of uh, my rival, whose name I already forgot. Oh, fuck off! Go away! All right, fine. Damn it! Uh, shit! I'm gonna. Oh my god! Ah! Oh. No, I think some trees have collision detection, and some don't. Maybe the trees have collision detection if they're closer to the road. Whereas if they're past that boundary where you're going to be reset anyways, it doesn't matter to have them and have that crash cutscene play out. Okay, fine. You can pass me. I'll just follow you for a bit. Still got a couple miles to go. I'm not too worried at this point. Just try to calm down a bit so I don't crash again. But it's like I mess up steering somehow and I overcorrect and just messes me up. Boy, when we went airborne, that completely stopped whatever progress the uh, drafting meter was making by filling up. Ooh. Damn, I'm, I'm like going airborne over cars. Uh, he's catching up. Damn it. Oh, that was close. I think he was mere feet behind me. Alright. Yeah, yeah, come on. Uh. Cool, another loading screen. Oh, it's the end of the stage. And yeah, I get it, loading screens are kind of necessary, but... Fuck. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to Chicago now. We're looks like we're in northern Iowa. Is where that thing that part of the line ended before it disappeared. I don't know. I mean, this map doesn't help because it, it's not overlaid properly. <laughs> 